Hello, my name is Tiago Dias and I will talk a little bit about my master thesis, which is related with the atomic oxygen influence in CO2 plasmas. First of all, let's take a look to how this subject appears. Everyone knows that we are damaging our planet by polluting the atmosphere, causing the so-called global warming. The most problematic gas in the atmosphere is carbon dioxide, CO2. One possible solution to this problem is to find a way to get rid from CO2 and use it to form some valuable chemicals. The idea is very simple. We pick CO2 from the atmosphere and we split it into CO and O. Then we can use CO to react with hydrogen and produce fuels. So, if this process is so simple, why aren't we already using it? The main obstacle is that CO2 is a highly stable molecule, so the bonds between the atoms are very strong. We could heat the gas to such high temperatures that the CO2 starts to dissociate. However, we would have to spend a lot of energy. Fortunately, we can spend much less energy using a low temperature plasma. Let's see how can we create a low temperature plasma. Suppose that we capture CO2 and put it inside the tube. Then we apply an electric field to the gas cylinder. If the electric field is high enough, some electrons are stripped out from the atoms and the plasma is created. The electrons are much lighter than the other species in the gas and therefore they are easily accelerated by the electric field and acquire a huge energy while the other species remain at room temperature. So, if a very energetic electron traveling through the gas collide with the CO2 molecule, it can break it. However, this process is not as frequent as we would like because the electron needs to have a big energy to split CO2. Luckily, this is not the whole story. When the electrons collide with CO2 molecules, they can also make them vibrate. The more collisions the molecules suffer, the more they vibrate. If the vibrations are sufficiently strong, the CO2 can even break. In this way, the CO2 can gain energy step by step till it reaches dissociation. But we must not forget one thing. When we dissociate CO2, we also produce atomic oxygen, which can in turn influence the plasma behavior. For example, the atomic oxygen can collide with an excited CO2 molecule and split it, improving the energy efficiency of the dissociation. However, the collision of the atomic oxygen with CO2 can also lower the vibrational energy of the molecule. Even worse than that, the atomic oxygen can recombine with CO to produce CO2 and then we lose our precious product. The question is whether the overall influence of oxygen atoms is good for the dissociation. And I pretend to answer that in my thesis. To study this issue, I will divide my work in two parts. First, I will perform experiments with CO2 plasmas for different conditions. Then, I will simulate the CO2 plasmas used in the experiments in order to understand the role of the atomic oxygen in CO2 plasmas. I hope that this study will give a great contribution for the understanding of CO2 plasmas. Thanks for listening. Bye!